Well, I've been working at my job for about four and a half months now. Uh, hate it. I make okay decent money, but it still kind of sucks. They put me on night shifts. So I work at 11 p.m. till 7 in the morning most nights. And then I go to sleep. They usually don't let me out till about 8, 8.30. And then I don't go to sleep till about 9, 9.30. I sleep till about 4 or 5. So that's going like that. I have a comedy show coming up. Which that right there is Kevin Farley. Chris Farley's brother. October 29th at the Civic Center down the road. Be pretty nice. Flyers are down there. It's kind of just a okay life right now. Nothing really going on. Met a girl. She's pretty sweet. Ain't nothing to it though. Sorry, I haven't been recording a lot. It's just when you work and then you go to sleep. It was, I don't know, a couple weeks ago I did 12 days in a row. I've been making 53 plus hours a week. That's it, it's back and forth. Don't do much else. But, not done with this movie. It's just taking me a minute. Still working at Denny's. Still cooking. Still. It's like a steal. I know that's only two. But I was promised serving a couple weeks ago. Because you need serving training. To get manager training. And I really want manager. I'm literally counting down the days to my comedy show. One month. One month away. I have spent. God knows how much. On flyers. God knows how much. On t-shirts. There it is. It's kicking my ass. Broke again. With a shitty fucking job. Pretty fucking slow. Two more weeks. And then my company show. Today I'm walking the town passing out flyers because I've done this three times it seems like two or three times and I have two two more weeks and people are trying to take down the flyer as if like the show's done and it's not I've been bro broke for about four and a half weeks four six almost six weeks now two paychecks completely 500 bucks down the drain to t plane tickets for the comedian hotels food Everything like that. Get paid on Wednesday, which is in two days. 500 goes to that. I'm trying to get the radio station advertised. I'm trying to newspaper. I'm completely fucking broke. Completely fucking tired. I'm broken right now. The show's changed up a little bit. That's where it used to be. 1,170 people. Unfortunately, five days before the show, the Neo Civic Center administrator uh, wanted to up my price, and instead of charging me a $100 deposit and a $750 bill, he then wanted to charge me a $750 deposit with a $750 bill. And he wanted it all due before the show on Saturday, or I don't get the show. So, we no longer have the Civic Center. In fact, we didn't have a show at all there for about two days. It is now Wednesday. The show's on Saturday. I'm completely broke. I have to pay the alcohol guy, the flyer girl. My t-shirt guy and Kevin all Saturday. It's four days, three days. Thankfully, we were able to change the venue to a much smaller venue that I've never been in. It used to be a bowling alley. 
they converted it to where they could play music and shit there. So we really just gotta hope that it has all the music stuff in it, like the, all the sound equipment. But we went from a civic center to what used to be a bowling alley and is now a theater. I'll try and shoot across the street and show you guys on a broader scale. That's it. So it's not that amazing right now. Three days to the show though. Let's keep her head up. Got a venue. It's not as, oh, it's awesome. It's, it looks awesome. It's just not as much chairs. There's a couple things wrong with it. It's not what I expected. It's just, you know, on a Sunday, this was a show for a great opportunity. Like I could have done a lot of things with it. Now it's kind of just like, I hope I break even and it's just, it's not a good feeling, but one more night, basically. I go pick up my other comedian, Kevin Farley, Chris Farley's brother, one night only in Neosho, Missouri. And the main goal is to break even, which is a set. I keep on checking in. Another change of plans. Uh, I lost the venue last night at one in the morning. I picked up Kevin at 11. Getting it into about 12.30. The venue holder called me around 1. Pissed off because we couldn't make it to the bowling alley before it closed. He owns the bowling alley. He wanted us to show up. He also didn't like how messy it was. Apparently some of the tables weren't set up. And some of the chairs weren't set up. Of course he only gave us one day to set up. So we were in the act of setting up kind of backfired on me. Kevin though, because I didn't cancel, because I canceled within the 24 hours, gets paid full amount, 15. He also wanted to go home early and the plane ticket fucked up somehow and I had to buy a brand new plane ticket, 500. I have no more memory on my phone. So every time I go to record, it cuts me off. Basically, I'm fucked. Three six, three seven, in debt, no show, and I'm back to being a fucking bum. That's it. And I have to fucking finish this movie extra fast. The end, guys. Share with